The U.S. believes Russian officials have begun training on drones in Iran over the last several weeks, the latest sign that Russia intends to purchase the systems as the war in Ukraine continues. During the last several weeks, Russian officials conducted training in Iran as part of the agreement for U of transfers from Iran to Russia, a U.S. official told CNN. The official said the intelligence about the training has recently been declassified. CNN has reached out to the Russian embassy in Washington for comment. Kremlin spokesperson Dmitry Peskov said last month that Russia had no comments on the matter when asked by reporters about the drones. CNN first reported last month that a Russian delegation had visited an airfield in central Iran at least twice since June to examine weapons-capable drones, according to National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan and satellite imagery obtained exclusively by CNN. Iran began showcasing the Shad-191 and Shad-129 drones, also known as UAVs or unmanned aerial vehicles, to Russia at Kashin Airfield south of Tehran in June, U.S. officials told CNN. Both types of drones are capable of carrying precision-guided missiles. Sullivan said in July that the U.S. believes Iran intends to sell Russia hundreds of the drones that Russia can use in its war in Ukraine. The Ukrainian military has primarily been deploying Turkish-built Barakter UAVs to destroy Russian command posts, tanks and surface-to-air missile systems, while the Russians have been using homemade Orlan-10 drones for reconnaissance and electronic warfare. But the Russians have been struggling to replenish their supply, leading them to turn to Iran for the equipment, the U.S. believes. U.S. officials have also argued that the growing relationship between Iran and Russia exemplifies why the U.S. needs to maintain its presence and influence in the Middle East. Ukraine, meanwhile, has pleaded with the U.S. to provide more powerful armed drones like the Grey Eagle, but the U.S. has been reluctant to provide them for fear that Russia could view it as overly escalatory. A report, not officially confirmed, says that Russia is using Iranian-provided military drones in its invasion of Ukraine. U.S.-based think tank Institute for the Study of War quoted advisor to the Ukrainian president's office, Alexei Yurestovich, as saying on Friday that Iran handed 46 drones over to Russia and that the Ukrainian government has already noted the use of these drones in combat in Ukraine. At least a portion of the provided drones are older generation shot 129 heavy strike drones, which Russian forces may seek to use to attack U.S. provided HIMARS, high mobility artillery rocket system, in Ukraine, the institute said. The news has not been confirmed by any high ranking Ukrainian military or government official yet, with some people saying there is yet no concrete evidence of Russia using Iranian drones in Ukraine. Some analysts say that, if it is truly happening, it can be a major development in Russia-Iran relations, whose military-to-military -military cooperation has started worrying other countries. U.S. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan warned twice in July that Moscow appears to be looking at buying Iranian drones, and Russian officers even visited a drone base in Iran's Kashin to review their options. His statements hinted at possible training of Russian crews to operate the drones and said that this would cause more civilian deaths in Ukraine. Late in July, an Iranian lawmaker said the military cooperation between Tehran and Moscow has upset the political equations of the global order, confirming Russia's request to buy Iranian drones. An advisor to President Volodymyr Zelensky told Iran International on July 25 that Russia and Iran are allies in the Ukraine war and it won't be a surprise if Tehran supplies drones to Moscow. Iran's U of power The Iran-Iraq war in the middle of the 1980s is where Iran's interest in drones and unmanned vehicles began. 
Iran has been a leader in the unmanned aerial vehicle who have, industry for many years, even though its nuclear program and capabilities have hugged all limelight. Iranian drone experience has grown significantly in recent years. Iran is now taking on a bigger role as a rising drone superpower in the region, using its drone technology in Gaza Yemen, Lebanon, Syria, and Iraq, according to Seth J. Fransman, writing for Atlantic Council. Most of the drones used against Saudi Arabia or U.S. forces in flashpoints like Yemen and Syria are kamikaze drones. These drones are equipped with explosives and are flown with pre-programmed coordinates to hit a target. Iran has UAVs ranging from small, light short-range systems to medium to heavy unmanned aerial vehicles UAVs, for intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance ISR. It is believed that some of the present drone fleets in Iran were made in the United States. Some parts might have been bought underhandedly or on the black market.